So in this video, I'm going to give you five examples of questions that you can solve using the Desmos calculator. This is for the new digital SAT, and uh, it makes solving a lot of the questions easy. Uh, and many of these questions or types of questions I've seen in the uh, practice questions or tests that the College Board has released. So let's start with the first one, which is the uh, quadratic equations. Um, so, for example, in the exam, you could see a question like, you're given this quadratic, which is 3 times x minus 50 square and equal to 27. And the question is, what is the value of the larger of the two solutions? So you can just punch that uh, quadratic equation and, and just graph it. And you'll see you, you don't see anything here. So sometimes you'll have to zoom out. And there it is. So you're going to have to move the graph. Wait. And then if you click here, that's one solution, 47 and 53. They were asking for the larger of the two solutions, so it would be 53. And it makes sense. If you plug in 53, 53 minus 50 is 3, 3 squared is 9, 9 times 3 is 27. So um, you can, of course, solve it directly too, but this would be a type of question that you could solve. The second variation of the quadratic uh, equation would be where you might have to use the uh, quadratic formula or the examples, or at least the answer choices, might have radicals in it. So, for example, this quadratic, um, the solutions aren't nice integers. There are some radicals in it. So, for example, if you graph that, uh, let's see, and they, you may have to pick, they might say, which of the following could be a solution to this quadratic equation. So, again, you'll have to sort of find these values, and depending on which one they have in the answer choices, so for example, that's 2.472, the other one is minus 6.472. And this value, and then you'll have to go through the answer choices. Uh, so the answer choice that I would put in this case is minus 2 plus 2 times root, square root of 5. So what you have to do is to go through the answer choices, compute it, and see the one that uh, comes close to 2.472. So that would be another type of question that you can use the Desmos calculator without having to either use the quadratic formula or do any other work. Um, so that's kind of what I wanted to give you for the quadratics. Now, another type of question would be about circles. So here you, you will be given in an expanded form. So x squared plus y squared um, minus 2x plus 6y plus 1 equals to 0. So you're given this equation of the circle, and then you could be asked what is the radius of the circle or what are the coordinates of the center of the circle. Those are probably going to be the most common ones. So here's our circle. And if you click here, that will give you the endpoints of the diameter here and here. So x-coordinate is the same, that distance, or this length of the diameter is 6 units, which means the radius would be half of that, or 3. Now, if, you, if they're asking you to find the center, since you have the endpoints of the diameter, the coordinates of the center would be the midpoint, which would be 1, comma, minus 3. So, again, be prepared. It doesn't matter how they give you the equation of the circle. You can always graph it out, find the radius, diameter, or coordinates of the center of the circle. So that's going to be another category of questions you can um, deal with using the Desmos calculator. Okay, the third broad area is linear equations of any form, and they could have a combination of absolute value, for example, 3x plus absolute value of x minus 4 equal to 20. And again, you can just Punch that in, and we'll see. Yeah, okay. There's only one solution. Sometimes you have two. But, and uh, you can see the value here is 6. And you can also plug it in. 6 times 3 is 18, plus absolute value of 6 minus 4 is 2. 18 plus 2 is 20. So that would be another example. So no matter what form they give you a linear equation, it's just, just graph it. 
And then the final example is the system of linear equation. And remember, you may have to zoom out or zoom in. And this is, of course, a very classic type of question. 2x minus 3y equal to 7, and then minus x plus y equal to minus 3. And uh, we'll zoom in. They're asking you to find the solution or the ordered pair of values that satisfies this. So you're looking for the point of intersection. And that's 2 comma minus 1. The x value is 2, y value is minus 1. So, um, so these were like the examples that um, I think... Uh, now, the question is, we don't know whether they will exactly ask you questions that are easy enough to be solved using the calculator. I think there are many questions in the uh, practice test that they have released. So it's to be seen how they're going to choose to do that when they actually roll out the full official test, the actual exams. Uh, because obviously, if everyone can do it by punching it in a calculator, then it automatically becomes an easier question, and then you won't be able to differentiate between students. So obviously, they'll have to do something. So it's to be seen how exactly they do, but at least, you know, you ha I wanted to give you some idea of the types of questions you can uh, approach using the Desmos calculator, which, as you can see, is pretty powerful. So that summarizes this video.